Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Are you frustrated by the very limited number of title sequences you can get out of iMovie? Well, there is a way to use another Apple application, Keynote, to generate title sequences that you can use in iMovie. Let's take a look. Okay, so in iMovie you can see there's really only about 12 different title sequences and you can vary them somewhat, but there's really not very many that you can use and it's not very easy to create like a real set of titles for your movie. But let's look at Keynote. So Keynote of course is presentation software that comes with iWork. It's a competitor for PowerPoint and so it's got some great transitions in it. So if we go ahead and create a simple set of slides that is actually a title sequence And we can control all sorts of things about this. So for instance, uh, in the format bar up here, we can make fonts larger. Uh, we can change the color of them. Anything we want to do, we can go ahead then and uh, uh, change the font. There we go. And then we can add another slide. And we can even delete blocks, add blocks. We can add graphics. Like that. So now we've got two slides that could be an opening sequence. And then we can create a transition between the two of them. Okay, so then when we have two slides, we can go ahead and select uh, the transition palette here and select an effect for the transition. So for instance here on this first slide we can affect a way for it to come in and actually will show it to us on this little preview screen. So um, for instance we could go ahead and do a revolving door to the next thing or we can go ahead and do a swoosh like that. And let's try this one here. Now when we go and we play It does a little effect there. We could also uh, forget about the transition between these and we can do an individual text transition for instance. Uh, we can go ahead and do what's called a build in and do something like flames. And now when we play it we get a cool video technique like that. Now once you have the effect you want, you can make the sequence as long as you want. You can drag images in, you can add all sorts of builds and different transitions. Uh, all you need to do then at that point is say export, file export, and then you have QuickTime as an option. You can go ahead and do timed, so the duration of each slide. Um, and then you can go ahead and select the format. You can do full quality large. Uh, include the audio if you put any sound in the individual slides or not. Um, and then you go ahead and you export it. And once you've exported it, you now have a QuickTime movie that you can drop in to iMovie and use as your opening sequence or closing sequence. So here I built one. On the first frame I was able to drag the MacMost logo in there. I straightened up the font for this and I created this second frame here as well. Uh, on the MacMost logo I've actually got a transition of a comet from left to right and then a comet from right to left on Get the Most From Your Mac. Then I have a transition between the two frames of confetti and then MacMost is going to MacMost.com is going to build with a flame and that will be my title sequence. So I go ahead and export it and here's what I end up with. Okay, so my example is a little bit cheesy, but you get the general idea. You can use all sorts of cool transition fonts, uh, layout options in Keynote and export a really interesting opening, closing, or middle sequence for your iMovie videos. Okay, so here's the thing. I really would like more people to see MacMost now. And the best way to do that is to actually have a nice high ranking in iTunes. Because if you rank high in the iTunes podcast list, you'll get more subscribers. But it's a chicken and the egg thing. You see, in order to get a high ranking, you need more subscribers in the first place. 
So here's where you come in. If you've got friends you think would enjoy the show and get something out of it, tell them about it. Just send them to macmost.com slash itunes.html. There's a little bit about the show there and there's a link for them to subscribe. And if I get some more subscribers to the show then we'll rank a little higher and we'll have more people watching. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.